NBA Finals Game 3. Will the Dallas Mavericks turn this into a series, or are the Boston Celtics going to get one step closer to their 18th championship? We'll break it down for you guys looking at the side and the total with a money-making opportunity on a player prop. I'm Steve Seagrave from SportsMemo.com. I also have a special offer to share with you guys at the end of the video. But for now, if you could hit the like button, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and let me know in the comment section who do you guys like in this game, whether it be a side, a total, a player prop. I'll be checking the comments and getting back to you guys right up until game time and throughout the game for that matter. So series shifts over to Dallas, American Airlines Center, Game 3. Mavericks sitting at 2.5 point home favorites. Total sits at 213. Quick look at the injury report. Doncic listed as day-to-day -day questionable, depending on where you look. You know, he's had a multitude of injuries throughout the postseason, but he's obviously going to play. He's overcome these injuries, and obviously he's not going to miss this game. He's They have been slowing him down, it seems, a little bit, especially on the defensive end. But I don't. I, I mean, obviously, he, we fully expect him to play. Chris Stapps Porzingis, on the other hand, he tore some sort of tendon, and it looks like, you know, he's questionable. But if you know Porzingis, he's not really one to... I don't know how serious this is, but he's not really one to overcome injuries. I fully expect of him not to be on the court as I expect, you know, most people do. Um, looking at this game as far as the side, I'm leaning towards the Celtics on the money line, especially at plus money. You can get him at plus 114 right now. It just seems like the Dallas Mavericks have no answer for them defensively. The Celtics have been really strong in the postseason on the road, 6-0 and so far in the postseason. On the road, they really their struggles have been at home. Sometimes in these game twos, we've seen that frequently, and they've really dominated the Mavericks. They've won the last six head-to-heads against the Mavericks by seven plus points. Five of those six games have been by double digits. And look at game two: the Celtics come out with the victory despite only shooting ten for 39, 25 percent from three-point land. I mean, in the postseason, they shot thirty-six percent. They were the number one three-point shooting team during the regular season and only shooting 25%, they still come out with the victory in game three. No Porzingis. I think the game makes it a little bit closer, but I still think the Celtics come out with the victory in this one. It's, it's not an official play for me, but I do enjoy getting the plus money on it. I would just take the money line as opposed to taking those couple of points. I think that I don't really think that we'll need the points. I think it'll come down to either Matt Mavericks, either cover or the Celtics win. As far as the total, we got it sitting at 213, and that's despite we got a total of 196 in Game 1, 203 in Game 2, and now we got this huge total of 213. So just that alone makes me kind of lean towards the over based on the fact that that these teams haven't really come close to that, and now the book set it at 213. Mavs shot horribly in Game 2, 6 for 26 for 23% from three-point land. They only shot 66% from the free-throw line, 16 for 24. As we just mentioned, the Celtics didn't shoot very well from three-point land either. Um, we know that Porzingis was a real... He was, he was effective on defense. He had a lot of blocks. So I expect this game to actually go over the total. It's a lean only, like I said. Um, I, don't, I think both teams' shootings improved. But um, I would only I would only lean towards the total on this one. I would more look towards this player prop that I'm going to share with you guys. It's been Jason Tatum over 15 and a half rebounds plus assists. He's been cashing this one consistently throughout the postseason. He's had 21 and 16 so far in the first two games of this series. He's went over this total in his last four postseason games, eight of the last nine games, and 12 of 16 so far in the playoffs. So this this prop for Tatum has been money. If you've been riding it throughout the postseason, the Mavs are forcing him to pass when he's in that point guard role, kind of similar to what we've seen them do with Anthony Edwards and SGA in the prior series. And if you look at his potential assist and rebound chances, 13 and 14 potential assists in the first two games, 12 and 15 rebound chances in the first two games, that equals 25 and 29 potentials or chances, depending on the category but 25 and 29 to only get to 16. I think we see him go over this again. He's played big minutes in both games, 45 and 42 minutes, despite these games being a little, you know, high, you know, Boston kind of had a blowout essentially in the first game, and he still played big minutes, 42 minutes, 45 minutes. And if you look at his road games, kind of like the Celtics, they've been perfect on the road. So is Tatum, 16-plus 
rebounds plus assists in all six road games so far in the postseason. It's basically a normally juiced prop at 15 and a half. I would expect him to continue to clear this one, and that'll be my official play for the video. We're going to go Tatum over 15 and a half rebounds plus assists. If you guys want my favorite play, I got it locked and loaded right now at sportsmemo.com. It's a 5% play. We're 3 and 0. We're smoking hot in the NBA right now. 3 and 0 in the finals. 11 and 1 best bet run. And we're number 1 in the postseason at Sports Memo, number 1 the last 30 days. And also hot with the 5% play, 17 and 6. 5% run. It's $29 at Sports Memo, but you get a special deal right now. You can get 7 days all access, only $64. So for only $35 more, you get another six days, and that includes all sports. Any other potential 5% plays um, in action with the WNBA, MLB, the rest of the Stanley Cup, and whatever is left of the finals as well. It breaks down to $9 a day. And like I said, if you were considering getting the 5% play for an extra $35, bucks, you get an extra six days of all the sports, uh, the four sports that I'm covering right now. You can check out my free plays over at sportsmemo.com. We post them every day on Twitter as well at Steve's Book 22. There'll be a link attached for my plays at Sports Memo attached to the video. And if you guys could do me a favor, if you haven't already, hit the like button on the way out. And I'll see you guys in the comment section. Good luck.